right guys so this is the finished look of this unit right here so this unit guys was sent to me from lwigs.com so this is a body wave style the color is an ombre color they don't really specify but I'm kind of going with an ash blonde type of color uh, this is 18 inches long it's 180 percent density the hairline did come pre-plucked and there is baby hairs around the perimeter obviously so this one is just strictly a lace front wig guys now this one has a good amount of parting space it has about like four and a half inches I actually can go further back oh wait no yeah it actually has like a four and a half to five inches of parting space on this one so this one is a super duper nice wig the lace on this one is absolutely soft now um with this unit guys i tried something a little bit different this time instead of using powder like i usually do like my maybelline fit me press powder for the parting space i did see the whole trend with the airbrush legs the sally henson thing um people spraying this on their cap so i got this one in the tan glow now this one um I feel like this one might be a little bit too light. Um, I did have to kind of like fix my makeup a little bit. Hopefully you guys like the picture quality. Obviously you guys know I got a new camera so you guys can see me like really crispy clear. I'll link all the information down below as far as the camera, the new lens and all that kind of stuff. Well this lens is old but the camera and everything so you guys will know all that information down below. So um, I used this guys and I felt like this was a little bit light if you guys can see it. Um, I didn't touch it up with the powder because I want to show you guys a review on it and the review on the wig so you guys can see what it looks like. When I I get my wigs from companies I usually get like a medium a brown color so this one I thought was going to be close it's a little bit light they do have a color above which is dark and the thing about it was I thought it was gonna be a little too dark so I'm actually gonna go ahead and buy the um, small size one on the darker color and try that one as well it does say that this is water resistant so um Hopefully it works. I'm going to test it out on the weekend because I did tell you guys in my last video that I'm going to be in Carabana this weekend um, so in Toronto. So I'm going to test it out on my other wig and see if it's water resistant, if it lasts. But I think this is a cool concept. You just spray the inner cap and then you're pretty much good. Like I said, this wig, the lace on this one is a really nice lace. Um, it's like, I don't know if it's a Swiss lace. I'll leave all the specs down below. But the lace is very, very soft. So it basically just did exactly what I wanted. This unit did come pre-plucked but I had to go ahead and pre-pluck it a little bit more. Um, I just wanted to kind of bring it out and just show you guys. I did do like a little bit baby hairs in the front right here, which I don't usually always do as much anymore. Usually I'll just do kind of like pullbacks and just natural looks. But I wanted to do a little baby hair magic because I did go ahead and deep wave. The deep waver that I use, guys, I'll leave it down below. You guys ask me all the time. If you guys want the detailed video on how to deep wave your hair uh, with this specific deep waver, because this one is set with four different waves, which is so cool. So I set mine at the biggest wave. I didn't want it to be too crimpy. I want it to be kind of like a loose wave pattern pattern which kind of mimicked the body wave pattern that I got when I received it so I think this came out really really pretty guys um, I use got to be glue just regular got to be glue to glue this down I already had a stocking cap method already installed on my head so all I just did was use the got to be glue around the perimeter just to put this down so it's pretty nice secure I feel that it looks really good um, the back it's a full wig 180 percent density is great i did use my batiste uh let's see if i can grab it here my batiste uh clean and light bare dry shampoo just to amplify it a little bit i'm extra like that especially when it comes to crimp styles you really want it to be like buff and pretty at the same time so i kind of went a little too far and you guys asked me what uh spray hairspray i've been using so i've been i went back to spritz um i used to use spritz a lot when i used to do my curl sets with the old school uh hair curler the one you have to stick it um stick in that thing or put it on the stove so I used to use spritz a lot on my natural hair when I used to get it um, curled and I felt like spritz was always like a good product so I started using this again um obviously for the lay down sometimes for the curls the cramps or whatever so I think that this is a great product this was a little pricey at the hair store this big size was six dollars Oh my god, it's about to start pouring outside. So um, I would recommend, uh, you know, getting this. It's pretty good. I do use the Aussie uh, Instant Freeze. I'll link that down below as well, too. That's a great hairspray. It's about $3 uh, for a full size. So yeah. So all the products, guys, I'll, link, I'll leave down below for you guys. If you guys are interested in purchasing those products along with this beautiful hair. Thank God it already came like this ash brownish color. I'm going to go with ash blonde slash brown because it almost looks grayish yeah, tones. That's all it is, tones. So guys. I'll leave all the information down below if you're interested in purchasing this unit from lwigs.com. Do not forget, guys, to thumbs up this video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and share this video with your friends and family, people. And I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.